Okay then. So, we're gonna go ahead and find our center punch mark in our billet, and we're gonna get, get a little bit of a, a medium blow from our striker. This is gonna begin setting our hole up. And we can have a look at it as it develops. It's really key to take your time with this. Notice we only hit once and we rotate after each blow. The reason for this is, is as our punch goes into the material, I can check to make sure it's nice and straight. I can check to make sure it's in line with the length of the billet. And we can make any adjustments and corrections that we need to make before rather than after. There we go. And there is a beautiful freshly punched plug. You can see it is the negative of our punch. Okay then. So now we're going to go in the other side, drive the drift till it fills the eye. And then we're now going to go ahead and hit to the high side of the cheeks. This is going to create three valleys. Here we have 14 year old Felix from Austria swinging a sledge. And I can assure you, if he can do it, anybody can do it. That's actually, that's pretty insulting. That's not actually what I mean to say. What I mean to say is, anybody can swing a sledge. And here is proof. Once it's square, we're going to go back through all four sides, nice and hard. And we're going to begin in the middle of the cheeks. And we're going to begin forging these cheeks out. So, you might be asking yourself, why were those trough lines there? Well, precisely for this reason. Were it not for those trough lines being there, we wouldn't be able to get in here with these fullers and we wouldn't be able to draw the cheeks out enough. Without being able to draw the cheeks out enough, we wouldn't be able to get as much contact with the handle in the eye as we need. Right here, boom. Same thing on the other side. And then the next ridge up top. Put my touch mark. Same thing on the other side. Let's give a big round of applause and a thank you for Felix for striking so well. Thanks. All the way from Austria, 14 years old. Just goes to show that anybody can strike for you if you want to undertake these projects at home, which I sincerely hope you'll do. I sincerely hope you'll comment photos of, the own, of your hammers that you've made and the tools you've made and comment your experiences and ask any questions you have. I always love reading them. Forging hammers is a really wonderful thing that I, ex I mean, it, it, it brings me extreme joy to do. I love doing it. I love making hammers for people and I love doing it for fun and I love teaching people how to make hammers. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And it's, it's, it's so wonderful because of the fact that this tool is the beginning of absolutely everything that we love around us so much. With this tool, with this hammer, you can rebuild the entire earth. Hi guys, Alex Steele here. I want to thank you so much for getting this far in the video. Here is the finished hammer after the fact. And I want to let you know that this video has been a conglomeration of clips from my latest online courses. The first one is called an evolution of tooling and it guides you through the process that you'll need to do and it'll teach you everything you need to know to go from having only a hammer and a hot cut hardy and a sledgehammer to making all the tools required to remake the hammer and the hot cut hardy, therefore making all the tools you're really going to need to make whatever the hell you want to make. I think it's awesome. I think it's going to really change up how we do things here. The things you're going to learn are how to make hammer eye tongs, I mean, hammer making tongs, pardon me, slot punch drift, two hammer eye punches, uh, top fuller, bottom fuller, flatter, top hot cut, cut cupping tool, hot cut hardy, and a hammer. That's outstanding.
that's an awesome amount of stuff that's going to be covered. There's five hours worth of video. I think you're going to really, really enjoy it. And I can't wait to see the projects that you make once you work through this course and go back to the workshop and practice on the weekends, etc., etc. Second online course. It, uh, it's for somebody that might not potentially want to go through the effort of going through all the tool making, who potentially has some tools already, and that is just how to make a rounding hammer. And I'm sure some of you are going to appreciate that it's kind of separated like that. If you just want to learn how to make a rounding hammer, you can do that too. You don't have to go through the extra expense. So guys, you can go ahead and run over to my website now at beginblacksmithing.com if you want to learn about tool making, if you want to make your own tools, if you want to, you know, you want to start stepping your hobby up and beginning to have a huge amount of fun, I assure you, hammer making is awesome. It is absolutely outstanding. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Remember, beginblacksmithing.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Bye-bye.